Are you looking for a townhome in Newark, Delaware? Well, you're in luck because today I have three different townhomes all listed in Newark, Delaware. So let's take a look what's on the market. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. I'm a local Delaware real estate agent that basically covers the entire state because we are so small. So whether you're looking to buy or sell in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description, so please feel free to send me an email. All right, so like I just said, I have three different townhomes that I think are all affordable and they are really cute inside, honestly. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see them. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so let's get right into it. So like I said, these are listed in Newark. So it, this one is listed for $330,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath. It is 1,130 square feet. It was built in 1992. It does have a basement and it sits on 0 0.05 acres. So not a huge backyard, but at least you do have a backyard. <laughs> All right, so first thing I see when we're coming up is if you are someone that is not looking for stairs, this may not be the townhome for you. So we do have a good amount of stairs getting up to the front door. And then coming into the living room. So coming in the front door, you have the living room to the left. It does look like it has LVP flooring throughout the main living spaces, which actually matches the wall. So I'm not sure if that's the same like if they just match that really nicely, I don't even know. I didn't even know you could do that. No. <laughs> so your TV would go up on this wall and this kind of just shows you it does have a big bay window in the front and then there is an opening to the kitchen right here. The kitchen has a good amount of cabinets and it does have stainless steel appliances, a low profile microwave, and then the sink sits right over this opening. So if you do have children or if you are entertaining, you can always be in the kitchen and still be able to hear your guests or watch your children. Off of the kitchen, we have a little eat-in kitchen area right here, or you could set up a dining room table right here as well. Looks like there are def definitely different possibilities. Then we have the primary bathroom, which has a pedestal sink and a stall shower. I looks like it's tile up until this point right here. I can't really see inside, but, and I'm not sure if it has a tub based off of this. So we have the primary bedroom. This is definitely a king size bed. They have room on each side for nightstands and a dresser and a bench. So this is a good amount of space right here. And they do have room for a TV if they were looking for a TV. We have the second bedroom, which is that looks like a full size bed, plenty of room for another dresser. And then this is the third bedroom, which has bunk beds. So a good amount of space for uh, beds. And then another picture of the kitchen. We do have the hall bath with the one sink and the toilet. I'm gonna say that there's a stall shower. Oh no, this is the half bath, I'm sorry. Then we have the finished basement, which if you were looking for, it does look like they tried to add some of that gray down here, which they didn't, I don't know if that fell off or if they still, if you are someone that maybe um, doesn't have a sectional, I don't think a sectional would fit the best down here just because it looks like they're, it's a little crowded. But if you were like looking for a gym area, this would be perfect for that. Or if you were just looking for an entertainment space, then it does have a little deck off of the backyard. And we have a deck up here and then we have stairs that go down into what looks like a fenced in backyard. So if you do have an animal, which they do look like they have one, you can, uh, you know, you can put your dog in the backyard without having to worry about them getting out because it is fenced in. So like I said, that one is listed for $330,000, three bedroom, two bath, 1,130 square feet built in 1992. So I think this would be perfect for someone that is just starting out or is looking to maybe downsize, but wants to live in Newark. All right. So the next one is listed for $299,990. <laughs> it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It is 1,550 square feet built in 1990. And it does not have a basement. It is on a slab and it sits on 0.05 acres. So 
Let's take a look at what this one looks like inside. So it does look like it has hardwood floors throughout the main living spaces maybe, maybe just the living room because it does look like it has tile right here. We have a stone fireplace which then matches the front of the house. That's nice. It brings in the stone from the front, kind of like flow throughout the house. This one does have brand new appliances, which is why you're still seeing this blue right here. It does have a backsplash with what looks like granite countertops. We have wood cabinets that if you don't like this color could always be painted if you wanted to. The fridge looks like it is a smaller fridge, so it does look like there's space to get a bigger one though here. And then we, it does have a fenced in backyard again, which is really nice with a shed. This kind of gives you an idea of what the front of the house looks like. So there is a little bit of a porch area here, not enough room to put like a chair or anything, but you could put some cute planners right here. Just kind of gives you an idea again of what the fireplace looks like. There is the slider right next to the fireplace. So this is the front door. You're going to come in, it has the eating kitchen right here, and then the stairs to go upstairs, and it does look like it has under the stairs storage area. Bedroom number one. This is the primary bathroom upstairs, so double sink, and it has a stall shower. This is the hall bath. This is the half bath, and then this is the walk-in closet for the primary. So you're gonna come in. This is gonna be, like I said, the eating kitchen right here, kitchen, and then this is that living room that we talked about. And then there looks like there is, this is right off of the left of the front door. So I would say that you could use this as a bedroom or an office. It's kind of like a flex space. I like these doors. And then, that is what the front looks like. So that one's a decent option. So if you were looking for a townhome that's under 300,000, this might be the one for you. It is updated. It has been recently renovated. It has a good amount of space. It has an office too, if you were looking for an office. So I would say if this is um, in your budget, this is a really decent option. So this one is under 300,000. It's three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,550 square feet, built in 1990, recently renovated, and is close to Route 40 and Route 1. So if you were someone that needed to maybe to travel back and forth to New Jersey, this might be a really good option for you. Or if you're someone that needs to travel back and forth to Wilmington, this would be a great option for you as well. All right, and the next one. The next one is listed for $409,900. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. It is 1,975 square feet and it does have a basement. It was built in 1994. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing is it needs to be painted. No. <laughs> Orange is not my color. So I do see upgraded counter, oh, I'm sorry, upgraded cabinets, shaker white cabinets, Looks like granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, a huge window. I really like this window over the sink and it has a ceiling fan. So if you are someone that burns food like me, it would be perfect for that. <laughs> and it does have a pantry right here, which I don't really see very often in townhomes. So it does look like it has a small eat-in kitchen area right here, but it does have a dining room. So if you were someone that maybe has a larger family and needs more space, you could put your... Um, family right here for to eat. Once again, this one does have a good amount of stairs. So if you were someone that cannot do the stairs, this townhome may not be for you, but it does have a one car garage. So you come into the front door, you're gonna be able to go to the living room or the stairs are gonna be right off to your left here. And then the dining room sits right off of the living room area and it has the slider to the backyard. This is the living room area. Decent size. I feel like you could fit a good amount of furniture in here. I mean, that's a piano right there. So if you wanted to put your TV right here, you could. And then this is the deck area, which is right off of the dining room. And then this looks like it is the two windows that we're seeing right here. So kind of give you an idea. And it does have a pretty decent sized deck. And then it has, uh, oh, hostas, love hostas. 
This kind of gives you an idea. Oh, okay. So you back up to a tree line. So you have pretty much a good amount of privacy back here for a townhome. I'm very surprised by that. I don't see that normally. So I see lots of potential for this one. <laughs> and then we have the half bath. Once again, orange. Looks like it's their favorite color. So then this is the primary. Has double closets. Good amount of space. Definitely enough space for dressers and a bed. Or if you just wanted to do a king size bed and use the double dressers. The primary has a garden tub with a stall shower. One sink, but plenty of room on each side. Then we have bedroom number two, which they're using as an office. Looks like it also has double closets, so that's kind of nice. This kind of gives you an idea of what the upstairs looks like. So give you an idea of how you're getting furniture up here. Bedroom number three. Double closets, again, that's really nice. Love to have some closet space. Hall bath, has a stall shower. It's separate from your sink. Finished basement, Let's kind of give you an idea if you have children or if you are looking for a workout spot or a man cave, this is, this is a perfect location for that. Have some office space down here if you wanted to. Has a full bath downstairs. So if you have an older child that you would like that's living with you, you can always put them down there as well. And then we have the laundry room. So yeah, that that is a great option. So four bedroom, three and a half bath. I did not expect it to have as much space as it did. And it was it's 1,975 square feet and it was built in 1994. It was listed for 409,900. Once again, in Newark, close to Route 40, close to Route 1 close to all of your major amenities, if that is what you're looking for. All right, so there you have it. There are three different townhomes, all located in Newark, close to basically everything. So whether you're looking for a smaller townhome or a larger townhome, if you have a larger family, but this is in your budget, that this is how would be perfect for you. I don't see, this is move-in ready. I don't see you needing to do anything to move in. I really hope that this video helped. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are a buyer that is interested in any of these homes or any of the homes in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description, or there is a link from my calendar where we can set up a one-on-one -on -one buyer consultation. If you are a seller that is looking to sell your property in Delaware, I would also love the opportunity to help you. There is a link down below in the description for an instant valuation of what your home is worth, or you can send me an email and I can send you a personalized CMI. Once again, I really hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, if you weren't interested in moving to Delaware, you should definitely check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour some Delaware communities with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.